You're driving your car. When may you use a handheld mobile phone? When you're receiving a call. When you've parked safely. When you're driving at less than 30 miles per hour. When your car has automatic transmission. You're planning to tow a caravan. What will help the handling of the combination? A jockey wheel fitted to the tow bar. Power steering fitted to the towing vehicle. Anti-lock brakes fitted to the towing vehicle. A stabilizer fitted to the tow bar. Where should you stop to rest if you feel tired while you're traveling along a motorway? On the hard shoulder. At the nearest service area. On a slip road. On the central reservation. You're driving towards a zebra crossing. What should you do if a person in a wheelchair is waiting to cross? Continue on your way. Wave to the person to cross. Wave to the person to wait. Be prepared to stop. What type of emergency vehicle is fitted with a green flashing beacon? Fire engine. Road gritter. Ambulance. Doctor's car. How should you react to inexperienced drivers? Sound your horn to warn them of your presence. Be patient and prepare for them to react more slowly. Flash your headlights to indicate that it's safe for them to proceed. Overtake them as soon as possible. A police officer asks to see your documents. You don't have them with you. How many days do you have to produce them at a police station? 5 days. 7 days. 14 days. 21 days. At an incident, a casualty is unconscious but breathing. When should you move them? When an ambulance is on its way. When bystanders tell you to move them. When there's a risk of further danger. When bystanders offer to help you. At an incident, how could you help a casualty who has stopped breathing? Keep their head tilted forwards as far as possible. Follow the Dr. ABC code. Raise their legs to help with circulation. Try to give them something to drink. You're driving on a single carriageway road. Why should you keep well back while you're following a large vehicle? To give yourself acceleration space if you decide to overtake. To get the best view of the road ahead. To leave a gap in case the vehicle stops and rolls back. To offer other drivers a safe gap if they want to overtake you. Your vehicle is stationary. When may you use its horn? When another road user poses a danger. When the road is blocked by queuing traffic. When it's used only briefly. When signaling that you've just arrived. You're looking for somewhere to park your vehicle. What should you do if the only free spaces are marked for disabled drivers? Use one of these spaces. Park in one of these spaces but stay with your vehicle. Use one of the spaces as long as one is kept free. Wait for a regular parking space to become free. You're driving in heavy traffic on a wet road. Which lights should you use if there's a lot of surface spray? Main beam headlights. Side lights only. Rear fog lights if visibility is more than 100 meters, 328 feet. 
dipped headlights. What helps to reduce traffic bunching on a motorway? Variable speed limits. Contraflow systems. National speed limits. Lane closures. When would you use an emergency refuge area on a smart motorway? In cases of emergency or breakdown. If you think you'll be involved in a road rage incident. To stop and check where you are. To make a private phone call. In order to supervise a learner driver you need to have held a full driving license for the same category of vehicle, for at least three years. What other requirement must you meet? To have a car with dual controls. To be at least 21 years old. To be an approved driving instructor. To hold an advanced driving certificate. What should you do when you're overtaking at night? Wait until a bend so that you can see oncoming headlights. Sound your horn twice before moving out. Go past slowly so that you can react to unseen hazards. Beware of bends in the road ahead. What should you do if there's a bus at a bus stop ahead of you? Flash your lights to warn the driver of your presence. Continue at the same speed but sound your horn as a warning. Watch carefully for the sudden appearance of pedestrians. Pass the bus as quickly as you possibly can. How can you make sure that a satellite navigation sat -nav, system doesn't distract you when you're driving? Turn it off while you're driving in built-up areas. Choose a voice that you find calming. Only set the destination when you're lost. Set it before starting your journey. At an incident, someone is suffering from severe burns. How could you help them? Apply lotions to the injury. Burst any blisters. Remove anything sticking to the burns. Douse the burns with clean, cool water. Who is authorized to signal you to stop? A motorcyclist. A pedestrian. A police officer. A bus driver. Do you need to plan rest stops when you're planning a long journey? Yes, you should plan to stop every half an hour. Yes, regular stops help concentration. No, you'll be less tired if you get there as soon as possible. No, only fuel stops will be needed. Your vehicle has broken down on a motorway. What should you do if you aren't able to get onto the hard shoulder? Switch on your hazard warning lights. Stop the traffic behind and ask for help. Attempt to repair your vehicle quickly. Stand behind your vehicle to warn others. You're driving your car. When may you use a handheld mobile phone? When you're receiving a call. When you've parked safely. When you're driving at less than 30 miles per hour. When your car has automatic transmission. When will a new car need its first mo test? When it's one year old. When it's three years old. When it's five years old. When it's seven years old. What's most likely to distract you while you're driving? Using a mobile phone. Using the windscreen wipers. Using the demisters. Using the mirrors. When should tire pressures be checked? After any lengthy journey. After traveling at high speed.
when tires are hot, when tires are cold. There are objects hanging from your interior mirror. Why could this be a hazard? Your view could be obstructed. Your sun visor might get tangled. Your radio reception might be affected. Your windscreen could mist up more easily. What's the maximum fine for driving or riding without insurance? Unlimited. 500 pounds. 1000 pounds. 5000 pounds. What can you achieve if you drive smoothly? Reduction in journey times by about 15%. Increase in fuel consumption by about 15%. Reduction in fuel consumption by about 15%. Increase in journey times by about 15%. How can you identify traffic signs that give orders? They're rectangular with a yellow border. They're triangular with a blue border. They're square with a brown border. They're circular with a red border. What does third-party insurance cover? Damage to your vehicle. Damage to other vehicles. Injury to yourself. All damage and injury. What will the speed limit usually be where you can see street lights but no speed limit signs? 30 miles per hour. 40 miles per hour. 50 miles per hour. 60 miles per hour. When may you stop on a clear way? Never. When it's busy. In the rush hour. During daylight hours. What must you do if poor health affects your driving? Inform your local police. Avoid using motorways. Always drive accompanied. Inform the licensing authority. You're about to reverse into a side road. What should you do if a pedestrian is waiting to cross behind your car? Wave to the pedestrian to stop. Give way to the pedestrian. Sound your horn to warn the pedestrian. Reverse before the pedestrian starts to cross. An injured motorcyclist is lying unconscious in the road. The traffic has stopped and there's no further danger. What could you do to help? Remove their safety helmet. Seek medical assistance. Move the person off the road. Remove their leather jacket. Which vehicle will use a blue flashing beacon? Motorway maintenance. Bomb disposal. Snow plow. Breakdown recovery. Why should you switch your headlights on when it first starts to get dark? To make your dials easier to see. So others can see you more easily. So that you blend in with other drivers. Because the street lights are lit. At an incident, how could you help a casualty who has stopped breathing? Keep their head tilted forwards as far as possible. Follow the Dr. ABC code. Raise their legs to help with circulation. Try to give them something to drink. What should you do if the left-hand pavement is closed due to street repairs? Watch out for pedestrians walking in the road. Use your right hand mirror more often. Speed up to get past the roadworks more quickly. Position close to the left hand curb.
What should you do if you begin to feel drowsy while you're driving? Stop and rest as soon as possible. Turn the heater up to keep you warm and comfortable. Close the car windows to help you concentrate. Continue with your journey but drive more slowly. What does this sign mean? Keyside or river bank? Steep hill downwards? Uneven road surface? Road liable to flooding? 